Hello everyone, welcome to a new episode of Show Me Your Builds. Um, before we start, I'm sorry if there's some noise in the back in the background. Right now there, well, right now there has been snow, some snow coming off all day, so there might be people coming up to move snow out of the road, which is always extremely noisy. But oh well. Uh, also, I, I asked a question about making a tier list about GHB and Tempest Trial Unit and my opinion on upgrading them. I'm going to be holding off on whenever the next temp the, the next Tempest Trial, sorry, the next GHB unit gets released, which is on the 22nd, literally in six days. I literally have not been working on it yet, <laughs> but be assured I'll be working on it at one point. It just uh, I have not had the, mo the motivation for it. Now, this is entirely my fault, but yeah. <laughs> I should be able to work on it earliest Monday, because tomorrow I stream. In two days I go to see my family. Um, and after that, well, when I be home, it's gonna be too late, so yikes. Uh, but yeah, uh, let's talk about units, shall we? First off, from... I hope I don't butcher this. Sion Wu. <laughs> Hopefully this is uh, properly said. Yes, those are words that came out of my mouth and... Oh my god, I don't understand English. Um... Okay, so he uh, posted his Sigurd, which is speed plus HP minus. I have a Sigurd that I'd like to submit to feedback as well. I'll always run it alongside Quan and Ethelin on the same team with the fourth unit either being Lewin or Eldigan. Nature is speed plus HP minus, as I mentioned earlier. In contrast to my Quan submission, I opt for a more dual phased approach for Sigurd. This build aims to capitalize on both his attack and speed to boost his offensive capability which also being able to withstand as many attacks as possible in multiple encounters. Divine Turfing is essential for surviving attack from range magic attacks, especially after initiate after he initiates on an enemy group. Makes sense. A, a for mainly for sustainability, with the Luna damage being a nice bonus when it counts. Attack speed solo, whether E or the enemy attack first, the combat boost to, uh, to speed enables him from enables him to prevent doubling from fast opponents within the speed range. Shield speed, this helps Sigurd against the fastest possible threat, lowering their speed to where Sigurd is safe from being doubled, it benefits Lewin's Versetti as well. Uh, speed wave, used in conjunction, na na na. And attack smoke enables Sigurds to be resilient to damage from facing waves of enemies in close proximity to one another, prolonging his survivability. Okay, so since you're using Quan and you're using obviously um, Eflin, I'm going to consider you at least run Ohm Cav uh, for consistency's sake. And. Uh, I will say one thing, also Eflin should be the one with Ohm Cav. Odd Speed Wave probably helps with Lewin, but outside of that I... Oh boy, um, let's put it this way, a plus 10 speed plus Ira hits 47 speed, Chill Speed gets that down to 40. You already are not getting doubled. But then, on top of it, you add attack speed solo, which means you actually double them, and then you, on top of that, put odd speed wave, and if own cav was active, that's still another 6 speed. You're literally way too fast, and you're wasting points at that point. Um, if you're really afraid of Carla and Ira for whatever reason, I would say... Ditch attack smoke or put that as your C slot. Uh, make Eflin your own cav unit. Unless you're you have Lewin on the team, then odd speed wave is probably just for that. Because uh Lewin has odd attack wave. And they kind of combo in each other. But I would replace the seal for darting stance instead and move six speed off. 
of it. Uh, for example, instead of attack speed solo, attack res solo could be a good idea. Or uh, attack res bond. Uh, personally though, I don't feel like you have to figure out dealing with Ira all that much or Kara, especially Kara. Your Quan should be able to one-shot kill uh, <laughs> Kara out of oblivion. Uh, as for uh, as for Ira, I feel like you should be able to more or less be able to put that consistently. Um, a slaying edge Ira has 50 HP and 35 death, so you need 85 damage. Uh, that means 71 attack is enough to one shot. I believe you actually hit that pretty easily. So, yeah. Um, Divine Turfing is a good idea. Because you won't get hit twice, so Crusader's Ward is completely useless. Uh, outside of, you know, Reinhardt, but <laughs> tanking with Sigurd or Reinhardt is not a smart idea. But. Yeah, uh, you're sitting at a possible 53 speed with chill speed. This is overkill. The reason why I say attack res solo could be cool is because then you would hit 40 death and 32 res. If someone has a, say, oh, 45 cav, you're sitting at 46 death, 38 res. Uh, if you have close death for those melee foes instead of attack smoke, which would be more consistent outside of mages, um, you would be sitting at 52 defense and 44 res. Yeah, 52, de 52 defense and 44 res. While also hitting like 63, no, 69 attack. Ah, it's the sex number. And like um, 47 speed, which is already more than enough, honestly. You see the, you see how silly it is to have this much speed. Already with just like own cav or odd speed away for that matter, uh, you already have so much speed. You're actually dubbing Ira unless there's like an Ira and a Carta on the enemy's side for whatever reason. You're fine. <laughs> Attack smoke is not a bad idea, but I would use that on your C slot. Your seal slot is just way too important. Close defense and darting stance are both good options for your seal slot. Um, maybe also a brazen could be pretty solid. But yeah, uh, just... Just don't focus so much on speed, you already have the speed. Uh, if you're focusing on both death and res, like with attack res solo and fortify cav and stuff like this, uh, HP minus is great. If not, speed plus death minus might be a better option. Other than that though, this looks pretty fine. It just, like I said, the A slot and the C slot that I would change. Not much else. So, uh, let's move on to this Tiki from Roag CL. Uh, attack plus HP minus. This is a weird one. <laughs> attack plus HP minus, she uses Aether for survivability, Dark Breath plus Red Smoke, Wind Sweep for 3 debuff on player face, and one use on enemy face, there's 3 debuff on player face. Okay, so the only thing I would really change is just the IVs, because everything else looks fine. Uh, though I'm not too sure about darting stance, because if you're already using darting breath, uh, darting breath, <laughs> oops, if you're already are using dark breath to debuff by seven attack and seven speed, ah. Uh, that, just like the Sigurd, that is kind of a bit much. Uh, the reason why I say speed plus HP minus is so wind sweep is more consistent. The second you get that wind sweep off, though, uh, you have an effective 47 speed, essentially. So, darting stance becomes just kind of overkill. I would say, if 
anything, maybe change the seal to close death. Because that way you can capitalize on your bulk, because since you're using life and death, your res and death are a bit shaky. So capitalizing on your bulk is absolutely essential. Darting Stance is actually a great idea here, it's just... Since you're using Dark Breath instead of Breath of Fog, it's kind of just... Well... Redundant, I guess would be the word to use here. Other than that, but this is a pretty cool set. I actually do like it. But yeah, like I said, maybe change the IV to speed plus and the seal to, well, like I said, uh, close defense. And let's move on to... Izard's Gordon. Attack plus HP minus. Let me try to find him on the list. I'm going through those characters a bit quicker than I usually do because I'll be honest I did not sleep enough and it is 10 p.m. I'm supposed to already be asleep so yeah sorry if I go a bit uh, a bit quicker than usual if you do need if you do a actually uh, want to ask question on your build and I go a bit too quick just ask in the comments I'm I'll, it's gonna be my pleasure to answer. Do you know it might take a while though because I YouTube has decided that it would be a great idea for me to never be notified of new comments anymore, which is uh, great Absolutely wonderful. So I have to manually check them myself. So sorry if I'm a bit slow on the draw as a result Anyway this is Isaac's Gordon. He's finally he's finished now. Attack plus HP minus paired with Libra with Fury. Edit also surprisingly very strong in Tempest Trial. All right, so I'll say one thing, and that's change the breaker. Uh, the reason why I say this is quite simple. Lens breaker would probably do you better. Why, you may ask? It's quite simple. Uh, Swordbreaker, you're dealing with a few units that are using DC. Um, most of the dangerous sword unit will kill you, Swordbreaker or not. If you have a Brave Bow, you insta-charge Black Luna. If you have a Brave Bow, you insta-charge Iris Blade. You're basically setting yourself to die. Uh, this is why I switched Swordbreaker on my gem key and, well, my uh, George and, by extension, gem key. Now, Swordbreaker is fine in PvP, uh, PvP, PvE, sorry, but in PvP, like I said, it's useless. Uh, don't bother. If there's any if there's any breaker you would want to use, it's probably a lens breaker. Axe breaker is a bit too bulky for you. Axe breaker is usually those armored unit um, that has like 40 plus defense, and Gordon does not have an attack stat. <laughs> so yikes. Uh, also, you really want to have someone with attack tactic buffing him. Or at least something to buff his attack because oh boy this is rough for him as is now I know Libra also has per attack death I want to say uh, that's actually a pretty solid option it's an extra three attack for him uh, if you can have on top of that attack tactic you'd have 50 attack which is a lot better <laughs> This is important because your Brazen won't be active at first. Now, once the Brazen are active, you're going to be a lot better off. It's just... You need to set, set yourself up to actually be good before you get to that point. So like I said, Lensbreaker is probably your best option when it comes on to PvP. PvE, like I said, Swordbreaker is fine. Though, you'll want to just step right up to take a hit, essentially. Because without those brazens, your oh boy, your damage are your damage is uh, very lacking. 
Double Drive Attack would also be a fantastic option on, s on some of your supports. I'm talking more of the supports because the set is pretty okay. It really just comes down to, you know, supports. Reciprocal 8 is not something I would run either. Um, Reciprocal 8 takes too long to get to set up. So, having Brazen is... You, you want to be able to, to get it through battle, essentially, is what I'm saying. I would also say Bonfire is a terrible idea here. Um, it's rare I say this because you do have the stat to make Bonfire hits decently enough. But you want Luna. Uh, every brave bow archer is want Luna because <laughs> that's just the problem. Brave bow unit have don't tend to have a whole lot of attack. Even my George, who has 56 attack, unbuffed, unsupported, to me is not good enough for like Jack and Ikora. I want to go out of my way to still use Luna. Because if you're dealing with 50 defense, this is your best shot to deal with it. The more, the more important it is for you to have more damage, the more important Luna becomes. That's kind of awkward way to say it. Uh, let's put it this way. Normally you have Brave Bow, and say you have 50 and you're dealing with someone with say... Oh, 45 defense, you're doing 5 times 4. Uh, if Luna procs, that's an extra 22 damage. This might actually get the kill because you're doing 42 damage instead of 20. Uh, if you had Bonfire, that would go up to 36. That's 6 damage less. You get the idea. Um, Luna will be more helpful in a pinch than Bonfire will, essentially. Uh, for lack of a better way to explain this. But yeah, so Luna, I would say reposition, especially if you're going to use a Dancer, and change the Breaker to say Lance Breaker. Lance Breaker will be much more consistent in PvP. Moving on to Zendo's Saber. Um, what, did, what was he saying? Let's find out. Speed plus, res minus. I figured this was pretty much the best build I could give him, since shield pulse really isn't consistent except for turn 1. That is true. Um, any feedback would be greatly appreciated though. So, okay, first off, IVs, uh, those need to change. <laughs> Attack plus is definitely by far Saber's best shot. Uh, as is, you already have plenty of speed if you need the speed, which you don't really do, but... Say you do need the speed, brazen attack speed, you hit 46 speed already. Uh, if you do, if you lose the speed plus and go attack plus, that is still 43 speed, which is fine. This is also unbuffed, so you know. Special Spiral Bonfire is honestly his best kit. Uh, even Death Wave works well with this. Though you'll want an attack tactic buffer because his attack is very lackluster otherwise. Brazen Attack Death, very good option. Synergize really well with Bonfire. Um, Close Death is a good option because what uh, you have what uh, 54 defense. Yeah, 54 defense. Uh, that's that's a pretty good option. There's not much I, I can really see changing. Honestly, no, actually, there's none. There was one I was thinking of on the, on the seal slot, but then I completely forgot. Oh well. There was one I was thinking of before I actually recorded, but... I think about it, there's really nothing that comes to mind. This is a pretty cool set, so I did want to showcase it more than anything. So, here we go. Next is Color Craze's Weird Ass Carla. <laughs> A rather unique build of mine, she's speed plus res minus. The objective is to safely poke at the enemy with special lever on every round. 
Uh, Brave Sword, Moonbow, Life and Death 3, Wind Sweep, even Attack Wave. So, okay. The goal is essentially to, to hit once and then proc Moonbow right after, because Flashing Blade. Um, Moonbow is not a bad choice here, but I would say Glimmer might be better in certain cases. In PvP, definitely Moonbow will be better in most cases, but outside of that, Moonbow is pretty solid. Um, Wind Sweep is solid, so you can avoid getting smashed. Uh, there's also one set that you could really want to use. Uh, this one is Vassal's Blade, but this is a set most people don't actually know exists to begin with, but I'd figure it and point it out. Uh, Vassal Blade... I'm trying to think exactly what it is. Uh, Vassal's Blade, Pav is, Shield Pulse, and... I believe, uh, Flashing Blade. Rest is really up to you. Uh, life and Death can work, uh, Fury can work, really anything. Well, Fury would be horrible there, but you get the idea. Uh, essentially, you attack, it charges the thing. You get hit, 50% reduction. So attack again, 50% reduction, is ready again. And so on and so forth. Plus Shield Pulse actually reducing damage even more. This is a great set to actually get rid of red and greens, but not so much blues. Blues will be a lost cause, but you'll be pretty consistent with red and green. Just thought I'd point that out as well, if, in case you wanted to do something different. But yeah, uh, cool set. Let's move on. B plus res minus Claire. Okay, so this one was sent in by Azarius. Let's try her again, shall we? This is a speed plus res minus Claire. Totally intend to change IVs later, just not sure to what. I use her to sh ship at poke at, at Pokemon. <laughs> what? I use her to ship at dragons and armored in our in arena. She has the special refined too. The ability she provides is pretty fantastic in practice. She's the only flyer on the team, along with Henry, as you've seen, and Raven, who I, pl who I have plans for. She's excellent against legendary Tiki and Halloween Mer, despite the bad Ivies. Those Ivies are not bad. Uh, they are like actually our second best Ivies, in my opinion. Res minus is fine on her. Uh, it really is just completely fine. You want to preserve her defense more than anything. Her HP is also kind of important because it's actually pretty frail to begin with. So really, and also, anyway, once you hit plus 10, your res will be 34 without the res refine you're running right now, which, uh, 34 is fine enough for ploys. Though I would say attack and death ploy together is probably your best bet if you're going to run something like this. And like I said, it's her second best IVs because her best IVs are attack plus res minus. Attack plus being a super boon while she has a killer weapon, which is extremely good for her. It's an extra 6 attack essentially against armored and horse unit. Horse unit, as if you're going to kill horse unit with a clair, implying you even find them. But, uh, yeah, um, no, I, I feel like this is fine for the most part, it's just, like I said, attack plus would do, it would do you better. Aerobatics and Guidance do work pretty well to find, to make some very strange, uh, things happen, but I feel like Guidance is a bit overkill unless you run a armored unit as well, because then the armored unit can actually you know, catch up without having armor march or armor boots to rely on. That said, uh, this is a pretty solid set, not much else to say really. If there's a seal I would change for uh, or a seal slot, I really don't know. Um, attack death bond would probably work pretty well, especially with attack plus. Uh, this would let you hit 52 attack and 30 defense. Which is a good way to actually be able to tank armored units. 
Our B slot could also be guard. Uh, guard would be fantastic because that would allow you to just wall Zelgus completely. But you should be able to one hit KO Zelgus, providing that you might have like attack tactic or something like that to buffer attack. Because, especially if you have attack dev bond, uh, you're going to be able to hit 58 attack, which is 69, which turns into 103 attack, while Zelgus usually will have 42 defense, which is 60 plus damage. This is very, uh, th this will usually turn into a one hit kill. So, you should be fine. Moving up next to a speed plus HP minus Selena from Sir Skeleton, or Sir Skellington, as I would say. She is speed plus HP minus, looking for a attack plus HP minus IV since this is more speed than needed and attack is her super boom. She gets used in both arena and PvE and mostly used to bait and drop people in and destroy. Only thing I can't make a final decision on is C slot, but smoke has worked well so far. Any other suggestion on my side? No, I would love to hear. Otherwise, I'm pretty proud of her. All right, so you have steady breath and bonfire. I don't know why. Uh, I'll say one of two things when it comes down to this: either you go slaying edge plus bonfire, so you can proc. Steady Breath twice if you have to deal with Bolt Fighter. Or you go Ignis instead, because then you get hit, you hit back, and then if you hit back again, you proc Ignis. A 3 cooldown special when you get 2 charge per hit in the battle is kind of silly. You're just losing a lot of potential here. If it's a 2 cooldown with Slaying Edge, you can proc it twice with Bolt Fighter. And if it's a 4 cooldown, you can still proc it the same as you would Bonfire, except it's more damage. Not much else to say here. Uh, Attack Death Bond is actually a pretty solid uh, combo with her defense, Steady Breath, and Ignis, or Bonfire if you choose to keep that with Slaying Edge. Um, Attack smoke is fine, I feel like. There, there's not much else you can really run for a, or C slot unless it comes down to what you know, what what unit are on your team and what your unit needs, so I can't really say because C slot tends to be the most flexible slot for heroes. Unless I know exactly what your team has, I will not be able to tell what exactly is your needs for that team. Attack Smoke is definitely ideal for herself, though, but I don't know about your other members, that's the thing. Attack Plus is definitely going to serve you a lot better. Uh, she definitely just needs a lot of attack in general. But, yeah, um, I believe that's that. Let's move on to Mayu's Finn. There's my Finn, he is usually used on a tactic team, although a attack tactic may be changed. I also plan to get plus 10 eventually. Okay, so... Chill attack? Um... No? <laughs> Luna? Alright, okay, so attack tactic. I feel like if you're going to use him in a... Uh, tactic setting, he would really abuse attack tactic himself because he's going to hit twice you uh, a lot of time. Especially if you have speed tactic, uh, you did not spe spe specify if you did have that or not, but um, say you do have it, that's 45 speed with shell lands. Um, if he's plus 10, that's 48 speed. So yeah, uh, having more attack on this guy would be kind of important. Uh, you're already hitting 65, uh, 51 attack and would brazen that 65. 71 attack if you go with attack tactic to buff him and then with buffs, that's not buffs, merges, that's 74 attack. 
You see, being able to double with an extra 6 attack and 68 attack is definitely more useful than just not. But another thing, since you hit so much speed, Chill Attack might want to get replaced. As a matter of fact, Chill Attack is kind of just a waste of a leg yarn or bright ninian. Why? Because desperation exists. <laughs> As stupid as this is to say, Desperation is probably your best set. Um, something you can also try to do is run Slaying, uh, slaying Lance with Luna, but then change the Seal Slot to Heavy Blade, so you can just proc it immediately every fight with Desperation. Chill Attack is just a type of skill that's not always going to be helping you, because if it just chills someone that's in the back row, it's just a dead slut in general. This is why I don't like chill skills in general. They are rarely uh, going to be helpful to you all the time. So it is what it is. Um, and desperation would definitely help it more. Like, he hits 42 speed even if you don't, you know, if you just slap desperation and you don't have any speed tactic fodder. That's still 42 speed. 42 speed is plenty to double in a lot of cases. Even if you have someone with just own speed seal, you're still hitting 46 speed. At the end of the day, that's enough to double. But yeah, like I said, Desperation will ser serve you better more consistently, in my opinion. It's actually pretty close of what the of what set I plan on running on my own fin. It's kind of funny. Uh, though I plan to run Bonfire and seeing this I would probably run Bonfire myself here as well. Uh, you hit 40 death with Brazen Attack Death. Shell Lance buff that to 42. And then if you continue with this and the merges you're going to hit 45 death. That's 22 damage with Bonfire. So Luna is a bit um, underwhelming, unless you're dealing with 44 plus defense, you're, Luna is not even going to equal Bonfire in performance. So yeah, um, kind of just pointless at that point. And that's without Death Tactic in mind, since this is a Tactic team. Uh, yeah, uh, this is probably 51 defense, in which case that's 25 damage from Bonfire. Yeah, uh, unless you're dealing with 50 defense plus, it doesn't even equal. So, yeah. Essentially, just change the special, 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 special to Bonfire and the Beast of the Desperation and you should be completely fine. Anyway, moving on to a Nephany from Happy. It's really weird I get submission from F Fairy Tale, But here we go. Wanted to show off my Nephany. She's neutral unfortunately, but she's still amazing. I gave her Fury to help her hit the Brazen Wrath range. She is paired with Legendary Hector for a 3 plus 2 attack. Attack Smoke helps her tank better. Okay, um... I feel she already has a decent enough amount of bulk to hit Brazens already. I would just run double brazen, honestly. Brazen attack death will do fine for you. Um, though, if you do decide to go for that, I'd say maybe change to a speed refine instead of a uh, steady posture refine. Steady posture is not horrible, but it doesn't help you on player phase if you need to just hit in for that e for just that extra oomph to get that one hit kill. So, it's kind of eh, and also, refining 2 speed gives you an extra 2 speed, uh, 2 speed, 2 HP, sorry, at a cost of 1 speed and 4 death on enemy phase only. Uh, since your set is mo mostly multi-phase, you might want to just push 
that aspect even harder. Having Brazen Attack Death and Brazen Attack Res at the same time would basically push you to, well, uh, 61 attack? Yeah, 61 attack. 61 attack plus Moonbow proc plus Wrath. I think you see where I'm going with this. Uh, it's also an extra, it's also like 41 defense and 30 res with the double brazen, which is pretty solid. Really, just it, it just comes down to getting to brazen range and then you can go to town because then Wrath just insta recharge all the time. Um, someone I believe also mentioned you should probably change that to bonfire. And to those people, I say, yeah, if you're fine with the playstyle of running away for one turn and then just jumping in for like that extra huge amount of damage. Why do I say this? Because otherwise, bonfire is just worse. Unless you want to just take a hit and then proc it immediately every time, which is kind of inconsistent, honestly. But yeah, um, that's what I would do personally. The speed refine is also because since you would, you know, replace Fury, your speed goes down to 35. 35 is uh, a bit inconsistent, at least in my eyes. Um, so being able to buff that back up to 38 would be a good option. But that's just me. Anyway, let's move on. This is Sinner of Sinners, Robin. It's P plus HP minus. And he says this is my Robin, he is P plus HP minus, a horrible Bane I know, which is completely wrong. HP minus is a fine Bane, actually. As a matter of fact, it's honestly uh, Robin's best Bane, unless you want to completely ignore his res, which doesn't seem to be the case, uh, considering the seal. <laughs> uh, waiting for speed plus res minus. He is also ally support with long Coof and who has double drive attack, Faye, who has drive attack and drive death. Is there anything that I can really improve on? He has every refine for all of his tome, being plus, bouquet, shine, sea life tome, owl, and juicy wave. Owl is easily his best home. Juicy Wave is the kind of weapon that's really good for AoE sets, but your base attack is not good enough for it, personally, is the way I see it. Alright, so... Oh god, trying to remember what set I had in mind for this. Um... Um, thirty-one. Trying to re-remember re this. Replace HP res 2 for attack death bond, that's pretty obvious. Uh, this would give you 43 death and 28 res. Uh, change the refine to res, which would give you uh, 40 defense and 31 res. Um, And then just probably run something. Well, actually, I think your team is only infantry, right? Longku, Fa. Okay, yeah, it's only infantry. Uh, so it comes down to just not having much option, really. But yeah, 40 defense and 31 res. That way you can actually abuse Altome. Consider two people around them. Uh, that's 44 defense and 35 res. At least now your res is kind of semi-important. Um, oh yeah, actually I said speed plus is actually bad. Uh, I would go for HP minus res plus at that point. 
though, do understand this is just the way I would build it myself. Uh, who would have what 4034 now? A 4034. 3534 without the, the the seal. You could run close defense, in which case you um you jump to 4140. If you have something buffing death and res by four, I guess, because you can't really have six. Uh, that's 45 defense and 44 res, which is pretty solid. Uh, other than that, I would probably run attack dev bond just so you you know you have more damage. Um. If you're going to go all out on defense, I would just say Death Plus, because th the main reason why I say this is because unless... Eh, no, nah, actually, that wouldn't even work. I was going to say, unless you go like... and it, you go for speed just so you can initiate better with Altome, then I realize Altome doesn't really work that way. Um, it's kind of just... eh? Like, with two people... On enemy phase, you hit 39 speed. 39 speed is okay, but bold fighter exists. And on player phase, you just don't do enough damage because you don't have Blaral helping you all that much. So, if you're going to build on just defense, I would just say HP minus def death plus would probably be better. Uh, 41 defense, attack death bond, that's 46. Two people with Blaral, that's 50 defense. Unbuffed. That would probably be a better option. As a matter of fact, that's actually just straight up bonfire, but Blue Flame is just scoring better. <laughs> but yeah, 50 defense. At that point, you can be a really solid death tank. I believe Ira does nothing except if she procs. Um, your, your speed is not bad, it's just that if you're initiating, you, even if you have like 3 drive attack buffing yourself... Oh, I forgot, you also have a drive death, so that's 53 defense actually. But yeah, um, even if you have 3 drive attack, that's 55 attack, 55-38, which is... Uh, it's alright, but if you're going to go the speed route, you need a drive speed seal somewhere. Uh, you're going to struggle otherwise. If you don't, if you go for just straight up bulk, I would either focus on mixed tanking or on just death. Like I said, like I said earlier, that's just the way I see it. Oh, I also forgot to read the second part. B slot, warm, and rare wall. C slot is all threatened and all the drive except attack. Seals, I can't use. I can't use close defense, DD, brazen attack, res, heavy blade. So okay, close defense is out of the question. Uh, attack death bond is definitely your best option for your seal. Already taken by other unit. Also typing this all on the phone is a terrible rip. But yeah, uh, attack death bond is probably your best option. You're using an all tome and blue flame for God's sake. It, it's just a match made in heaven. <laughs> Not much else to say here. Anyway, let's move on. This is the attack minus rest plus Celica from Maro. And he had to say, trying to find it. Um. Oh, god damn it. I can find it quickly, I know where it is, or more or less. Let me just. Okay. We'll change it to speed plus HP minus once I get the IVs. Glimmer and Draconicora, Ace Love, Fury, Life and Death, Distant Death, Brazen Attack, Death. Uh, Desperation, Renewal, Vantage, Savage, Blue, Spur, Death, Own, Speed. Usually use her when I want to have fun or when I need a good red and green checkers. Alright, so um, this is a textbook example of one thing you don't want to really do. Triple Brazen sounds good at first until you realize that getting into the Brazen range becomes a pain in the ass. 
Ardent Sacrifice will become inconsistent literally next merge, unless you get HP minus. And just don't. <laughs> Fury is going to be your best option here. The reason why Fury is best is because even if you go like plus 10, you have 43 HP, Fury plus Ragnarok takes 11 HP. Bam, you're in desperation anyway. If you're go if you're going with summoner support and you hit plus 10, you just need HP minus and bam, there you go, fixed. Still hit that brazen range and desperation range. Ardent Sacrifice is a bit too slow to come in. That's the problem it really runs into. Running Brazen Attack Res and Brazen Attack Speed is a good option though. Uh, but the Brazen Attack Death on your A slot just don't. That's that's just a mistake. It's a lot of payoff, but it's too much setup is the problem. Also, you will die on the setup part usually, which is a big problem. Now, if you run attack speed and attack res, you're going to hit. It, it, you want fury also because it helps you getting double before you get into the brazen range. Um, once you get Fury and the Brazen Range, you're sitting at 44 speed, which is a lot more stable, to say the least. Uh, 61 attack and 44 speed, to see, to, to be blunt. This is unbuffed, and yeah. Actually, no. 66 and 49. My bad. I forgot the plus 5 attack and speed from Ragnarok itself. At that point, you're going to be able to deal with most things. Like I said, it really comes down to just getting there. That's the biggest problem. Ragnarok plus Fury means you have 42 speed before you get to the Brazen range, which at the very least is more consistent. Uh, 42 speed is nothing to scoff at. But yeah, uh, outside of Fury and maybe changing this, uh, the assist for reposition or something that, you know, actually help. Not much to say. Draconic Aura is probably a good option as well. Though if you do that, Heavy Blade might be a bit better. Sorry, a bit better for the seal if you have uh, Attack Tactic. Because you'll still hit 65 attack. Brazen Attack Res is still decent, uh, as a matter of fact, if you have Attack Tactic, that's over 70 attack. And if Mikoto gets demoted for whatever reason, Infantry Rush is fantastic to combo with her. Um, on Desperation, running Glimmer and... Uh, running Glimmer, Desperation, Infantry Rush. Infantry Rush will just attack and proc Glimmer immediately. This is absolutely amazing for her. But yeah, uh, let's move on. This is the attack plus, death minus, legendary Lucina from 1DZ4455. Please tell me I didn't butcher this shit. <laughs> I hope I didn't butcher it too bad, if anything. Attack plus death minus, as supported with Leon, and this is a good example of why life and death is not a good option 90% of the time. Now, it's fine for like brave bow archers like George, and my George is good for it because I end up having enough bulk. However, Lucina is a bit of a different case. Um, Less HP, less defense, less res, and a weapon that doesn't always give you the extra death and res you need. Life and death is a bad option here, and honestly doesn't really help all that much. Uh, yes, it increases your speed by an extra 2 and your attack by an extra 2, so Flashing Blade is a bit more consistent. But you already hit 45 speed, like at that point, there's really not many units it's gonna help you with. The fear unit is gonna help you with. You kind of need. You kind of live on having a buff, so you can actually get to the point to double those people. And even then, since you know you have life and death, you're going to get one shot by them. Those units being obviously Zelgus and Ira. Um, so it's still not a good idea. Fury is just a. It's just a better option. Because for the at the cost of 2 attack and speed, you get an extra 8 death, 8 res, and an easy ticket to desperation. 
So, yeah. Um, 25 death and 23 res. And then if you're against a Dragonstone or any other, other melee unit with DC, uh, that's 29 defense and 27 res. That's a lot better, isn't it? <laughs> You're going to hit to be able to hit Desperation a lot easier. As it stands, if you're dealing with a Lance unit with 58 attack, you're getting one-shotted. If you're dealing with a green, give up. <laughs> Fury will at least give you a somewhat of a chance, though I will say Glimmer is a terrible choice here. Uh, I would definitely go instead with uh, Moonbow. I did suggest Glimmer for the Carla that um, Color Craze submitted. The reason why I used. Uh, I, I did mention Glimmer there was because of her color. A red has to deal with, say, Zelgus and most of the green armored unit where she gets a combat triangle advantage. So Glimmer works well. On the other hand, Lucina is blue and most of the units of the meta are green. If they're not green, they're red. Oh wait, those di those one shots are. Uh, okay, so they're blue. Oh wait, ah, those are a bit too bulky for glimmer. You see the problem you end up with. Moonbow is just better as a result. But if you're going to use flashing blade, no, since you're using desperation, Moonbow is just better. Nah, yeah, not much else to say here. Let's move on. Alright, so this is something I've seen here for AoE sets. This is Kenzo Kodal's May, which is a attack plus death minus May, planning on attack refined shine plus and changing rowing wind to blazing. Now, I want to ask you one simple question. How are you going to hit Desperation? <laughs> With 44 bulk? You're going to try to hope for a mage to show up? Like, this is not a good idea. Death minus is horrible. You want res minus. So, attack plus res minus would be ideal for this set. Um, the other thing I want to point out also is that life and death, again, terrible choice. You want to use Fury instead. If you change from death minus to res minus, you have 12 death. If you change from life and death 2 to Fury 3, you have 19 death. So you are at 54 bulk. Uh, once she hits plus 10, that's 58 bulk. So if you have literally anyone buffing your defense by 6, like Death Tactic or something like this, um, that would be 64 bulk, which is a lot better off and actually has a shot at tanking a hit so you can actually hit Desperation. Otherwise, well, uh, yeah. 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 You also want someone to buff your speed. So I guess uh, one of your best partner would be Quan. Uh, because Quan has speed death, rally speed death plus, which would be a six point in speed and death. So you can actually hit uh, 40 speed. And well, considering what I mentioned earlier with uh, stat, you're going to have 25 death as well. Um, 27 death at plus 10 and 37 HP. So you have at least a shot at tanking and hitting Desperation and having enough speed to double if needed. Because remember, you don't have special spiral, so your speed matters. But yeah, otherwise, uh, not much else to say here. This is a cool set. Um, I believe you also mentioned using, uh, I believe, Odd Attack Wave? on her down the line. If you're going to do that, 5 star plus 10 or instead of 4 star plus 10. Uh, Odd attack wave is a bit too important of a fodder to, do, to just willy nilly killing a unit for it that you're, you know, 
going to only be using here and there because it's a 4 star plus 10. Trying to find the text in question. I ah, yeah, also adding it out attack wave whenever I get it. Like I said, plus 10, 5 star plus 10 to new unit if you're going to do this. Would be um, my, uh, my, my uh, advice. Otherwise I would say just use a Quan with rally, with rally Speed Death Plus and give him Attack Tactic. You get the same result and you don't kill a Ishtar or Lewin for no reason. Eh. Alright, so. Moving on to this Athena. Actually, no, I want to keep that Athena for the end. So this is a uh, bit of a peculiar Arden set. This has been submitted by a user by the name of Lowrider925. And what he had to say was, if I can find it... This is my idea for a hardened build of a, to differentiate him a little bit from Brave Hector. IVs are currently speed plus HP minus, but could be shifted to rest plus HP minus instead. Alright, so the thing that actually differentiate Harden to Hector is the fact that he has a rest stat. So uh, walling Murray is actually a possibility with Harden, something that, you know, Hector will struggle to do, to do, but another thing that's worth mentioning is since you have 35 res, you can run speed ploy and attack ploy. So speed plus 3, you could replace that for speed ploy straight up. Though you will struggle to, you know, ploy Mur. Mur is the only character that comes to mind. Though you will be doubling your ass and you're just going to break her into anyway. So, eh. I just figured it would be worth mentioning. Uh, attack and speed ploy would definitely help you out there. 40 defense and 35 res and you'll be just able to abuse that. Fury is a bit of a problem at one, uh, uh, to some extent because you won't have any sustain whatsoever. And all right, so if you're using staying lance, I would say you run two, one of two things. Uh, one of them would be Aether, so you hit, get hit, proc Aether, and and hopefully heal back some damage you would take from Fury over time as a result. Or you run Bonfire, so you get hit and proc Bonfire immediately. Those options are both pretty solid. Ignis is just kind of a terrible choice because it's 3 cooldown when you get 2 charge on every attack. So you don't really abuse every charge you can actually abuse. Like I said, Aether is probably one of your best options just so you can uh, keep the sustain up. And Bunfire is just better for damage straight up if you do need it. Other than that, not much else to say. Um, use those ploys. <laughs> Could also run Death Ploy if you want. This would actually make him a pretty solid cheerleader down the line if you're going to plus 10 him. And at the same time, well, the second you get his rest to 37, you will not struggle ploying even Murr on this. Murr is, is rest plus for whatever reason. Moving on. This is the weirdest set of the bunch. This is a attack plus res minus a Athena from Shakonan. Uh, let's see. Where's the wall of text? Uh, Shock Chan. Oh, there it is. Finally, plus 10 unit I'm proud of and is not a dragon unit. <laughs> IVs are attack plus res minus. Dream IVs would be res plus death minus for 40 death, 40 res. Fair enough. Um, actually, wait. Oh, it's because you have res minus. Okay, so... Yeah, 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 so... 46 46 at the end of the day. That's actually very similar to the bulk line I have on my um, 
Olivia, actually. Very similar stat line, actually. A support Oboro, next plus 10 project. Uh, together with Oboro, she will give six, uh, si plus 6 stat boost, attack death link, plus odd speed wave, plus 2 support. Every, st every stat, and with Olivia, another 5 death, 5 res. So, who is buffing your res here? Because I see you have a plus 6 res here. Oh, wait, I'm dumb. Herself, okay. That's actually not a bad choice. Alboro also will get an extra plus 6 to all stats on odd turns, so you can actually combo both of them together pretty well. 5 death, 5 res, which means 51 death, 51 res. That's actually pretty solid. Kalumatsu, eh? I really wish my Olivia had that, actually. Thinking about giving Aether once she activ activate... Once she activated a... I think you mean once she... Once she activate Aether once... Instead of once she... What the fuck? She'll proc it every phase except somebody pre who prevents follow-up or special charge. Yeah, that's definitely a solid shot here. Ignis is also kind of eh for her, because you already get two charge from Special Spiral. Oh great, <laughs> sorry for the background noise, like I said. This is always fun when that happens, it's super loud. I'm sorry about this. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> I think I showed her to the first time. I showed you her the first time when she was a plus two. Now she's a big girl. Well, she definitely aged. <laughs> 51 death, 51 death, 51 res is pretty solid. Uh, the only thing I would say is... If you're going to use special spiral with a damaging special that is not Aether, run Bonfire instead, because then one special... Essentially what will happen is Flashing Blade will proc, you get hit, and then you actually proc Bonfire. Special Spiral procs again, and then on enemy phase you get hit and proc again, and proc it again. Though this kind of set will require a healer to just be consistently able to pull off, but I'd figure out that would be a good point to, to actually explain. Other than that, I have not much else to say on this, this is pretty solid. Really not much I can say here. Boy, oh boy. Um... Trying to think. Yeah, no. <laughs> I was going to say Wadao might be also a good idea, but that's kind of over the top at that point. 58 attack should be fine. Safeguard could actually work pretty solidly as well. If you use the whole uh, bonfire set. Jesus Christ. It's so loud! <laughs> but yeah, uh, I suppose that's about it. And this concludes Show Me Your Build. Only an hour. Only. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I still have to upload this. Oof. Uh, but yeah. Not much else to say. Uh, like I said earlier at the video, I will most likely be doing a tier list and my opinion on each unit for GHB and Tempest Trial units. This will take time, but it should come out maybe before the 25th. I, I'm not making any promises, but this is when it should be happening. I should. I will also be showcasing a build of my choosing for each characters. Um, do understand those are are going to be by no means optimal, but it's just like that type of build that I can kind of just show up for show off for the case of showing it off. I'll be using Unit Builder though, because Jesus Christ, otherwise it's going to be a nightmare. 
But yeah, um, that's about it. If you want to submit a build like this, just join Discord on in the description below. And please read the pin. <laughs> I had to actually disqualify three people because they didn't follow the pin. Or actually, no, two people, my bad. <sighs> it's, I know it's a lot of text. Either read the pin or read the left and right of this video, obviously. Uh, all the rules are there as well, so yeah. Not much else to say. Now... I'm going to call it here before they start going through my window with all that noise. Have a nice one, y'all. See you later.